Yeah, I'm gonna mute. I said. Today, I had the opportunity to hear the most amazing story from a young man named Kyle over in Hawaii. And let me tell you this story. This man was an expert golfer. He played against Tiger Woods. His life was going up, up, up. And then one day he found crystal meth and it went down, down, down. It went so far down from Hawaii, a Hawaii, a, a, a native of Hawaii. The drugs took him so far down. He described his story stealing, stealing from anyone, everyone. That drug just took over his life. That he was captured, put in jail. He escaped out of the third story, sheets together. Then they captured him back into jail. Three years of solitary confinement. I taught in a jail one time and they put people in that for like 24 hours. Three years this young man was in solitary confinement in a seven foot by seven foot cell. They fed him through the little crack. He had to take a bath in the sink. He was, another thing when I taught in the jail, these people in solitary would beat their head against the wall. This young man, Kyle, he beat his head against the wall. And the voices in his head, he said, this is why I'm doing it. The, the voices were saying, do it. And then, and then one day, a voice said, Kyle, Kyle. He remembered from when he was 10, he had never been introduced to church. In his head, the voice said, I am here for you, son. I am here for you, son. Get on your knees. And Kyle got on his knees and he was saved by himself in the cell, in the seven foot by seven foot cell. He spent another year and few months in solitary confinement. And the way he kept his sanity with God, totally the spirit inside of him was stay humble, humble. Stay humble, be humble, stay humble, be humble. Gives me chills. And then he was out after that. And then he spent seven more years in jail. All he said, stay humble, stay humble, stay humble. He saw more things in that jail. And now he comes and after 10 years in jail, he speaks to the youth in Hawaii, in all the islands. And he shares his story, how that one experience of crack took him from here down to here. It is amazing what you can do when you let the Lord into your life and stay humble and share the word and give help. It is stay humble, share the word. Amen. Go Kyle.